Igor Vladimirovich Denisov is a Russian former professional footballer who played as a midfielder. Denisov progressed through the youth ranks at Zenit and after making his debut for the senior team in 2002 has since played his entire club career for the street. Petersburg outfit up until his transfer to Anzi in 2013. He made his debut for Russia in 2008, going on to feature at Euro 2012 and the 2014 World Cup. He has been the subject of controversy, porting numerous arguments at the club and international level during his professional career. Igor Denisov warming up for Zenit. Denisov was born in Street. Petersburg and started his footballing career with Turbostroidal before going to Smina, the youth team of Zenit. Denisov signed his first professional contract with Zenit, Street. Petersburg's only professional team, after graduating school in 2002. At the age of 18, Denisov made his debut for Zenit in a league match against CSKA Moscow in 2002. He made his breakthrough with the club the following year, scoring twice in 19 appearances. Under Dutch manager Dick Advocat, Denisov blossomed as a player, developing into an advanced midfield role behind Andre Arshavin and Alexander Kertsikov. Becoming an influential member of the Zenit squad that won their first Russian Premier League title in 2007. On April 3, 2008, Denisov scored Zenit's fourth goal in their 4-1 first leg defeat of Bayer Leverkusen in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup match at the Bay Arena. Denisov's performances helped Zenit reach the final against Scottish side Rangers on 15 May, after defeating Bayern Munich 5-1 on aggregate in the semi-finals. In the final, Denisov played the full 90 minutes and opened the scoring in the 72nd minute after being played in by winger Andre Arshavin. Zenit went on to win the match 2-0 and lift the UEFA Cup for the first time in their history. In the resulting UEFA Super Cup, Denisov played the full 90 again, assisting Pavel Pogrebnyak's headed goal as Zenit upset English heavyweight Manchester United 2-1 on August 29, 2008. On June 29, 2010, Denisov extended his contract with Zenit for a further five years. Six months later, on 22 of December, Denisov was voted by the fans as the club's player of the year, beating out the likes of playmaker Danny and goalkeeper Vyacheslav Malafev. On October 27, 2011, Denisov featured in his 300th competitive fixture for Zunit, in the 3-0 defeat of Volga, including 217 matches in the Premier League, 55 in European competition and 28 matches in domestic cup competitions. Denisov finished as runner-up behind Malafev as the club's MVP for the 2011-12 campaign, playing 57 games while scoring one goal and providing eight assists. During the Russian Football Union Awards ceremony on 26 May, Denisov was voted as the Player of the Year in the Russian Premier League and Zenit won five more club awards for 2011-12 including Team of the Year. On August 11, 2012, Denisov provided two assists in Zenit's 5-0 defeat of Spartak Moscow. On 3 September, Denisov was voted as Zenit's Player of the Month for August after playing all five league games and providing those two assists. Three weeks later, Denisov was demoted to the reserve team for improper behavior according to the club. Following more than a month with the youth side, Denisov was reinstated to the senior squad and began training with them again on 1st of November. He made his return to the first team a day later, coming on as a 58th-minute substitute for Viktor Faisalin and Zenit's 2-1 defeat of FC Rostov. Denisov's first full match since his return from exile with the youth team came on 6th of November in a Champions League group game against RSC Anderlecht, playing the full 90 minutes in a 1-0 loss in Belgium. Denisov announced his move to Russian Premier League club Anzi Makashkala for a fee of 15 million euros on June 21, 2013. On August 15, 2013, Denisov moved along with fellow Anzi players Yuri Zhirkov and Alexander Kokorin to FC Dynamo for an undisclosed fee. Denisov played in only three matches for Anzi before the cash-strapped club began to sell its players. In April 2015, Denisov was put up for sale by Dynamo and told to train on his own for insulting head coach Stanislav Shershesov. He returned to Dynamo's lineup in July 2015, after Shershesov was dismissed as Dynamo's manager and replaced by Andrei Kobelev. On August 31, 2016, he moved on loan to FC Lokomotiv Moscow for the remainder of the 2016-17 season. On February 2, 2017, he signed a permanent deal with Lokomotiv that started at the end of the season upon the expiration of his Dynamo contract. On May 27, 2019, he left Lokomotiv by mutual consent. On May 29, 2019,
he announced through his lawyers that he retired from playing. Denisov first featured in the Russian national setup, representing the under-19 side against Denmark in the second qualifying round for the 2003 UEFA U19 European Championships. He then went on to captain the Russia U21 team. Denisov trained with Russia in 2005 but did not get into the team. After a good run of performances at the club level with Zenit, many sports journalists called for Denisov to be included in the squad for the European Championships in 2008. But he did not make the initial squad and later refused to be called up for the provisional 25-man squad of players after a number of injuries. Denisov made his debut for Russia on October 11, 2008 in a FIFA World Cup 2010 qualifier against Germany, a 2-1 loss at Signal Iduna Park in Dortmund. He was confirmed for the finalized UEFA Euro 2012 squad on May 25, 2012. He featured in all three Group A matches, as Russia picked up four points but ultimately failed to qualify for the knockout stage due to their head-to-head -head record with Greece. On September 7, 2012, Denisov was appointed by new Russia manager Fabio Capello as the captain of the national team in the wake of Andrei Arshavin's absence. On June 2, 2014, he was included in Russia's 2014 FIFA World Cup squad. On June 6, 2016, Denisov was ruled out of Euro 2016 with a thigh injury. Throughout his career, Denisov has earned a reputation for poor behavior both at the club level with Zenit and at the international level with Russia. In the run-up to the European Championships in 2008, Denisov was left out of the original 23-man squad by then-manager Gus Hitting, Denisov was called into the squad after a number of injuries but took umbrage and refused to play as Russia reached the semifinals losing to eventual champion Spain. In August 2010, he was involved in a road rage incident, where he fought a driving instructor after the learner driver in the instructor's car almost collided with Denisov's SUV. Denisov injured his foot in the incident and broke the instructor's nose. The instructor refused to press charges. In September 2010, Denisov was involved in a training ground bust-up with coach Vladislav Radimov, the argument escalated from a call. Radimov made in a practice game and reports claim that Denisov was readying to punch Radimov before teammates physically stopped him. Two months later in a match against Spartak Moscow, Denisov verbally abused Spartak's manager Valery Karpin, subsequently leading to a brawl with both sets of players and a four-match ban for the combative midfielder. On September 22, 2012, Denisov was left off the team sheet for Zunit's 2-2 away draw with Krelia Softov. The following day, the club issued a statement that read, the decision to send Igor Denisov to the youth team for an indefinite period is connected to the fact that the player issued an ultimatum, refusing to take to the field against Krelia Softov after demanding a renegotiation of his contract. According to the Zunit website, Denisov's current contract runs to 2015 and that he is one of the highest earners in all of the Russian Premier League. Media speculation reported that this pace strike was a result of Zenit's overhaul in the transfer market, bringing in Axel Witzel and Hulk on big contracts and in combined deals worth over $130 million. Denisov replied in an interview with Sport Express, stating that his standoff with club management was over the proper organization of the team. And respect for the Russian players which Zenit has always relied upon. Two months after his protest. Denisov released a statement, telling the media that he was finished protesting over his pay strike and has apologized not only to the club but also to the fans, as he was wrong to walk out on the club. On April 7, 2015, he was removed from training with the main Dynamo Moscow squad and transfer listed by the team for interfering with the work of the head coach Stanislav Shershesov. Denisov, 7, representing Russia against Poland at the European Championships in November 2015, he was again moved to Dynamo's reserve squad by the new manager Andrei Kobelov after Denisov demanded that the club management fire the club's doctor whom Denisov called incompetent. On April 16, 2018, he was fined 1 million rubles by his club Lokomotiv Moscow for insulting a doping control official during a test. Denisov and his wife Elena have four children, Victoria, born in 2005, Igor Jr. born in 2008, and twin sons Ivan and Daniil who were born on December 18, 2011. He owns two South African pit bulls and is known in Russia as being a very good chess player and for never giving interviews to reporters. Zenit St. Petersburg Lokomotiv Moscow. Thanks for watching.